Hey, this is Nick Nielsen from FitStep.com, PowerfulTrainingSecrets.com. Got a great uh, dip exercise for you here today. It's exactly like a regular dip. Um, I'm going to do it weighted, but uh, the key difference here is that instead of doing it on a dip stand where the uh, bars are horizontal, what we're going to do is set this up on the rack with two Olympic bars so that the bars are slightly at an angle downwards. You kind of see I've got two bars set up here. The angle is pointing down this way. What I'm going to do is set up facing the downward slope so that the heel of my hands is uh, taking more pressure which in turn puts more tension on the triceps instead of the chest. So by adjusting that angle to a slight downward angle and uh, conversely you can do it the other way around and lean forward and get more of the chest by doing the upwards angle. Um, we're going to do the, the backwards angle pushing leaning back. That uh, downward slope is really going to hit the triceps well. Um, I'm going to move the camera in here so you can kind of get a better idea. I'm using fat grips on the bar here too. But here's the uh, kind of slope. You got one side that's just a little bit lower than the other, maybe one or two notches down on the bar. You really don't need much slope to get that angle. But uh, it's a really effective way to do the uh, dip. And uh, you're gonna notice the difference the very first time you try this one. Very effective stuff. And uh, let me just get the camera set here and uh, back in business. So. This is, I got 90 pounds on the dip bars here. I'm on the, doing weight plates with the hanging from the waist. And I've got uh, fat grips on the bar here to kind of make things a little bit thicker. Really like those for triceps because they really uh, tend to activate more muscle fibers in there. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do this one rest pause style too. So, I'm going to do 10 of 10 reps and then rest 20 seconds. Another set of as many more reps as I can get, then rest 20 seconds, and then do it again. So, <clears throat> When you're doing these in the uh, rack, you want to be sure you're getting a good stretch kind of at the bottom. Basically so you're at the bottom when, you're, when your feet are touching the ground. Then all you have to do is sit your hands in, take your feet off the ground and start doing the exercise. It's a really easy way to do it, especially with doing weighted dips. And uh, you know with two bars in the rack, you're going to have a pretty solid base to uh, push from. So, And I've got the bars in a V position here with the, the back end kind of together and the front end out wide to the front. So it gives a better angle for the shoulders to work at. That's the first set of 10, I'm gonna rest 20 seconds. Go again for as many more reps as I can hit here. This one really hits that long head extremely well when you have the angle on the bars here. Key to remember with dips, you don't want to push them to complete failure, especially at the bottom. That's a lot of stress on the shoulders and kind of on the pec insertion. So if you're doing weighted dips, um, I don't advise doing them really, really heavy. But uh, make sure you go for form and you don't don't try and exaggerate the stretch at the bottom. Um, you might find it overstretches right through here. So give this one a try next time you're doing dips. 
even with just regular body weight dips, you're going to notice a big difference just by angling the bars instead.